Robin Hawk on Cage Life, Chicks in the Garage. I'm here today because it's been a little while since we've been working on our big dog. So we ran into kind of a lot of snags. Again, can't tell you how much, you know, how many times it's really, you know, a lot of cleaning um, that was required and it's taken quite a bit of time. And it seems like no matter how much I clean, there's more dirt everywhere on this bike. So now we're at the point, I'm happy to say, that we're ready to move on. So what we're gonna be working on now um, for the next probably week or so is we are going to be working on the front end finally. So we're making progress today. Woo, so happy to say that. So what we're gonna be doing is, as you can tell on our front forks here, right, the forks, um, we actually have put our axle in, and we put our axle in to basically stabilize those front forks so they're not twisting and turning, because without that axle in, they'll kind of move freely, they'll twist, they'll turn. So when I'm about to put on this fender, um, it's going to be a problem. So we went ahead and put in the front uh, axle to hold that in place to keep it nice and snug so it's not wiggling around on me when I try to put my fender back on. And um, you can also notice we put some tape here and that's really meant to protect the paint. So if I accidentally get a little crazy in here and bang my uh, newly painted fender, I'm not gonna wreck the paint on that right now. Um, so we kind of protected it with some blue painter's tape. Nothing fancy. So what I'd like to show you is, is just what we have been working on is shining all of our chrome, all of our aluminum. Yes, there are different types of metal on the motorcycle. Thank you for viewer for pointing that out. It's not just chrome that I've been shining. I've been polishing and shining all types of metal that come on a motorcycle. Now that we have most of that all shined up, it's time to move forward. So just to show you a few of the things we've got here, this is our new fender paint job. Just a plain silver for now until someday I get this baby custom painted. But for now we have it back from the shop and so I just want to kind of show you the parts that we're going to be working with and the tools we're going to be working with today. So we have our new fender, newly painted at least, um, and then we have the brackets. These are the, the big dog brackets for my uh, 2005 big dog chopper. Um, these will hold the fender nicely in place, snug against the forks where they belong. We also have bolts that we'll be putting those in with. Um, but before we could do any of that, we use this handy dandy crazy looking device. This is a tap. And so basically what it does is it has threading on the end and you put some oil on that and you can go ahead and put that right into the holes, the bolt holes, and that what that really does is kind of it goes into the threads. You can clean all that old Loctite. Loctite is something that we put in all of our bolts to make sure that they lock tight, right? Duh, Captain Obvious. So um, we just need to clean that out and get fresh in there because we want to start with everything fresh and pure for our job so that, well, as my husband pointed out, when I'm riding my big dog down the street someday, that my fender doesn't fall off because that would kind of not make for a good day. So, um, we have our oil can. We're going to be doing some oiling. Everything should be, you know, properly oiled. And we also have that Loctite that I was talking about. This is the little handy dandy little stick that they come in now. We're going to be putting that on our bolts and our threads to make sure everything stays put once we do put, put this fender in its uh, proper location right here in front of the bike. So those are some of the things that we're going to be working on today. And uh, for this next week, we're going to put this fender on. We're also going to put this sort of what I like to call the nose bracket. It's basically a bracket that's pretty shiny, and I saved the old one just so you could see the difference. Once again, this is the difference between a nice piece and something that's been ruined due to lack of maintenance. This was too far gone. We really had to throw that out in the garbage, um, but I did save it so you could see the difference, and then we have a nice shiny new one. We're gonna be using a torque wrench today. The torque wrench is meant to get the proper pressure on all of our bolts um, so that you don't have uneven pressure on either side and um, that could definitely uh, create damage to your bike parts. So you want to make sure you have equal pressure on all bolts. We're also going to be using uh, an Allen wrench for our bolts today and I think that is it and I think we're about ready to get started. Okay, so guess what? It's really exciting, but it's time to start moving on this big dog fender. As I said, we're gonna put this bracket in here. These brackets are nice and shined up. So we put the bolt through the hole, but before we can do that, remember I said about the Loctite. So we're using blue Loctite. There's different kinds of Loctite. There's a blue and there's a red. The red is really very permanent. 
And the blue really is sufficient for this kind of uh, work. We're just gonna put a little bit on there. A little goes a long way, ladies. So we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on there. We are going to put this just through the hole, line it up, get our Allen wrench ready, and then very gently make sure it's in the hole, make sure it's fitting through the threads. You should not have to force it. You shouldn't have to, it should not be that difficult. If it is, there's something wrong and you need to stop, pause, and make sure that what you're doing is correct. So we're gonna repeat the same thing with the second bolt that holds this bracket onto this fender. We're gonna put that through. Once we have it up here, lined up. We're gonna very gently, again, we're gonna go ahead and start screwing that in just to make sure that it is actually in the correct position and that both of those are lined up nicely. Obviously, we'll have to tighten those up, but I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same with the other side. Get my bolts here, and again, repeating with the Loctite, a little Loctite on there. Get our Allen wrench in place. Again, remember what I said, it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to force that bolt in there. It should go in pretty easily. If not, something is definitely not right. You wanna leave it kinda of loose. Don't just tighten it up to begin with because you'll end up scratching your paint all to pieces if you start forcing stuff. So be very gentle with it as you go, um, especially since, like I said, we just got this fender back from paint, so it's a fresh paint job because it had some scratches that were pretty deep on it. So we just kind of hand tighten those for this time being. Um, those are all gonna have to be tightened down, of course, um, certainly more, and we'll be tightening those, um, these bolts up with our torque wrench. Okay, so we have our torque, uh, torque wrench, we have our socket, we have our bolts here, and we have our fender in place. Now, the fender, um, really it's a good idea to get something to hold the fender in its spot because it's really difficult unless you have another pair of hands that can stay out of the way. But it's really difficult to kind of hold it in position while you're trying to put the bolts on because right now I just have it sitting here and there's nothing to keep it secure while I'm trying to, you know, I'm not an octopus with eight arms here and neither are you. So unless you've got a second pair of arms that are kind of staying out of your way, kind of find something to brace it with that's also not going to scratch it. So I did that and now I have it in place. Um, basically in just the front is in place and then I'll have to remove my... Um, my temporary little um, brace there just to get it out of my way. But right now, so I'm, it's in place and I have my, my bolts. Now my bolts I'm doing, you know, I, I have on there, there's something called a uh, lock washer. The lock washer will help that keep in place too. And then there's another washer on top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bolt in and I am literally just gonna hand tighten it. Okay, so this is really exciting. Things are starting to come together. The fender is on, it's secured, it's been torqued, equal amount of pressure on all the bolts in the bracket. So Loctite on, it's gonna stay in place, so no dangerous, and my bike will be one step closer to being functional. Uh, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and remove this tape that I use for safety, and boy did I need it, because I did do a little bit of banging around there to get that on there. You didn't see that, but that was on the, that's on the blooper reel. Um, so we are going to go ahead and put on this beautiful little, um, it's more decorative than anything, it looks great. This fits right in there. This is the easiest part of the whole job. I wish everything was this easy. So we've got our Loctite already on our bolts. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our bolts down in. And we have our Allen wrench. So we are going to go ahead and just tighten that one down a little bit. Again, I don't like personally, um, I don't know if this is the right way. As you all know, another disclaimer, I've shared with you before, I'm learning as I go. And, and I also know that there's not necessarily a right way or one way to do anything. Um, you have to kind of work things the way they work for you. I'm, I mean, obviously, you know, you have to put the bike together to be safe and you have to do it the correct way. But at the same time, there you might have a little bit different technique to get things to work the way you want them to work. So, um, you know, when I do it, I kind of prefer putting my bolts in and kind of 
loosely, you know, tightening them a little bit all around and then going ahead and tighten them all up the final tightening. Because for me, you know, that makes me feel better. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the right way to do it for everybody, but you know, it just makes sense. So I'm doing it that way. So as I tighten, this one's kind of a bugger. Um, as I go ahead and tighten these babies down to get this um, piece in place, I can tell you that our next step will be to get the wheel on, which will be in a couple of days probably. So that video actually will be coming soon. So as I go ahead and learn one more thing today in the garage, I guess I've learned that Loctite's important. Fenders to be secure are certainly important and safe, as you might think is obvious. So that's nice. Uh, we're almost done getting this all bolted down and done for this episode of Chicks in the Garage, where we replaced um, and reinstalled my beautiful fender. And learned about Loctite. We learned about torquing things down properly with the pr proper amount of pressure on all bolts. We learned how not to scratch our paint and how much Loctite to use. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you learned something too. Now we have a beautiful fender, a beautiful bracket, and we're one step closer to a functional big dog. So this is Robin Hawk, Chicks in the Garage. Until next time, we put our shiny wheel back on and get us one step closer to the functional big dog. See you ladies.